This conference will now be recorded. All right, hello, ICON agents. This training will be on how to create a broker credit letter and get it sent for a signature by the broker. So as you can see on my screen here, I'm getting ready to enter into Docs Plus. We're gonna go over here to the left and click on Docs Plus. I'm gonna bear with me a little bit. You know, sometimes the site does mess up. It may load slow, so you just have to give it some time for it to load. All right. Now, once you have already created your transaction, you're just gonna to go to the transaction that you need to create a broker credit letter for. And then I want you to find the transaction that you want to use. You're going to click that. And then you're going to come up here to where it says form in this little paper with the plus symbol in the middle right here. The new window will pop up and you will see forms is actually already highlighted at the top. Checklist, packages, forms, clone from existing. It's already on forms, so you're going to click on DMB Realty Inc. And then you're going to search for the form that you are looking for. We are currently looking for the broker credit. We're going to click this box. Below, down here, it will show that that has been selected. And you're going to scroll down a little bit. You will hit next. The broker credit will then populate into your transaction. It will be the very first one. You're going to now click that. And then as you see, the broker credit is here. So now we need to get this filled out and sent for a signature. First, we're gonna click on date. You only need to click one time, and then just release the mouse and move it to where you want the date to be. We're gonna click right there. On the right-hand side, this is where you can set the format. Month, date, and year as in the, the numbers, or you can do it where it will actually write it out, 12 hour period, 24 hour period. I normally just do the month, date, and year, not written out. You're gonna hit done. Now this, oh, let's see, we'll set, excuse me, we'll go back. Before you hit done, hit set date. Today is the well, we'll hit the 25th as such. It even will give you a time. Now you hit done, excuse me. The buyers and the property name. You go back up to the top, you hit text box, click once, release. It will always give you the seller's or the buyer's name. That does not matter because they're not completing anything. This is an icon document. But to make it easier for you guys, just choose who you're making it for and the property. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just click like that and click like that. Okay. We're going to hit done. You're going to go back over to where you need to put the buyer name and the property information. You're going to double click and we're going to choose the buyer's name. So you're going to type their name. And then you're going to double click on the next one and type the property address. Okay, you hit done. You will then come down and you will get the text box again. And you can add all these fields just all at once, but I'm just showing you step by step. And you're going to put one there for the actual amount written out. And you're going to put one there for the amount actually being typed. 
and you will hit done. If you click this box, you see these dark blue squares, you can stretch it to fit the amount. We're going to put $1,000. We will hit done. You will come over to the next text box. For this one, I'm going to just change it. There we go. Hit done. Wait one second. There we go. And we're going to put 1,000. Okay. Hit done. Next, we need to assign the signature to be signed by the broker. Up here, you will see signature. You will click that one time. You will choose the broker. It can say Panit or it can say a shark. It really doesn't matter because the signature will match when it's actually signed. And you're going to move it down. Remember, you don't have to hold and drag. Just release your mouse once you click it. Pull your mouse down and place the signature. Now, in order for these to be sent and received by the broker, you already must have the broker's name in your contacts with the email address attached to it, which will be iconrealty.dmv at gmail.com. That's I-K-O-N-R-E-A-L-T-Y dot dmv at gmail.com. So once you've clicked where you want the signature to go, you will hit done. Now you will hit sign. And the credit letter will be checked because that is what you want to send. And you will hit continue. And as you see, it's prepared for signature. All you have to do is hit send to sign. And then this page will pop up. It's just another confirmation. Just like when you send something to a client, you have the option to send a message with it. In this instance, you're going to click this square next to the broker's name to ensure that it is indeed going to him. You will scroll down and you will hit send. This is just a reminder that is a default that you're not allowed to send documents for signature to the party that you do not represent. So you can just close this. And once you have done this, you have now completed a broker signature. Once this has been signed, it will then update in the system on your end. So what we're going to do we're going to check to see if the broker has indeed signed this um, broker credit. So let's give it a few seconds here to ensure that he has signed it. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit the back button, which is this blue arrow, to go check. We're going to go back. Let's give it a minute to load. Now it says it's ready for review. I'm just going to refresh my page real quick. Now I need to check it. And let's see if the broker has signed it. He has. Okay, you are now done. It will always look as red on your end, but that is fine. That's because you are the creator of the document. At this point, you can then download this and send it to the top.
title company, lenders, client, whoever you need to send it to, this is where you can do that. And then you have actually completed a broker credit letter. That is all for this training. I hope this helps everyone and answers all of your questions.